Hello, and welcome to the Necropolis. I checked out this game on an episode of Let's Talk, and everyone's opinion was mixed. The game is a Dark Souls-esque game in which you delve deeper and deeper into various dungeons, and the more you play and die and play again, the more you unlock in that nature a Binding of Isaac or another roguelike. Yet, with the rich, fun combat of Dark Souls, death is a huge part of this game, but for me, the visuals are what drew me in the most. Join me now as I plunge into this game and world completely blind, and at the end of it, I'll let you know how I feel about the game. Finally, I've made a lot of videos recently that cover topics and ideas and concepts. I'm really proud of those videos, but I know some of you miss playing a game with me. More laid back like my Dark Souls playthrough, though that sure did have a lot of editing. So I'm trying this out to see if I can make everyone happy, even if that's a foolish concept in itself. With that, let's begin and dive right in to Necropolis. I am so impressed by this menu. It's such a simple thing to be walking for a constant, dark, misty corridor. Okay, so we have to customize our character's name. We are currently Blackguard, son of Eruro. What the? Son of the Sea of Glass. Oh, whoa. So if I go up and down, I can change the color scheme and the outfit I'm wearing. And if I go left and right, I change my gender. Okay, pretty cool. Um. I guess I'll, I'll go with the stereotypical stereotypical white and blue right here. That's fine with me. That's some nice customization. In a time where women were women, men were men, and rat things with the ability of human speech were, well, you get the idea. I awaken. Who are you that disturbs my slumber? And I was having such pleasant dreams. Oh, I got a gem. Okay. So we got random loot that I can loot. I can smash shit and get more loot. Expected some Zelda level shit here, and I like that they've got the controls just on the wall here Okay, let me just uh, <laughs> sorry look at these guys the Egyptian sort of stance there. Oh man So if we can have a look at our weapon here We've got the old long sword a hefty and slightly rusted blade weak handle and dull edge It does the job just not very well a boring buckler likely to get you killed only slightly slower and the garb of the black guard, a conspiracy to fight evil who also offer a decent dental plan. And then we also have crafting outside of the inventory, which means I can make rotten food, uh, our fungus and torn flesh. We got standard rations from torn flesh and essential oil. And we got ichor included the rest, uh, an iron ration. Uh, then adventurer's chalk and finally... Musun's energetic strike. Reflect upon the ancient words of the controller layout. So light attack, R1. Uh, heavy attack. Oh, it works just like uh, Dark Souls uh, 3 and Bloodborne. Look at that. Oh, just like Bloodborne, actually. Oh. So it turns it into like a combo instead of just a, a hit. And as you can see at the bottom left, my bar appears to be consumed. You grow exhausted. Right, so there's some sort of mana system. We have interact, we have dodge. Oh, just like Bloodborne's dash. It consumes energy and it will regenerate quickly, just like stamina. So I have a stamina bar, but the more I use my special power attack, my stamina bar permanently gets lowered as if I've died uh, in Dark Souls where you lose health bar. We have jump, use item, which will use my ration probably with X. We have lock-ons, we're switching our weapons, we don't have any other ones right now. We do actually have a sprint ability, which also consumes stamina. Be sure to keep track of your food. All that killing is bound to work up an appetite. When the Archmage Ar Abraxas could no longer abide the endless folly of the mortal world, he built this necropolis as his retreat. There's some enemies down here. Oh, don't walk in fire. Life tip. Okay, so if I target, here we go. And do, uh, whoa, standard combo. Should take it out in three hits, no problem. Now, do I permanently stagger them by just spamming attacks? With these weak enemies, it seems so. But we can pick up their weapons as well. This is an elevator. It travels downwards without all the broken legs. Stand in the center. So I'm assuming it means the platform behind me. And then it just mentions some crafting as well. We just had a look at crafting and stuff. So we Ah, look at that. So that's a bunch of stuff uh, that we just looked at with crafting. So we should be able to make standard rations. There we go. Okay, so we now have two standard rations. Now, I'm assuming what they do 
is restore health, and they might actually restore stamina as well, because it says specifically you grow tired or wary. Alright, let's go down the elevator. Spooky. Um... I could have sworn we had already done this. Maybe that was before the reset. It's aware of you dying, kind of like how Undertale was. Neat. So this guy's seen me many, many times before, and this is the guy that's talking to me. Look at the way it's, like, barely formed. It's got so many cracks in it. I am the brazen head. Marvel! But know that I am much diminished. Aid me with these mildly deadly tasks, and earn tokens of favor. Okay, so I maybe get stronger by talking to him, by completing his tasks. The Siptorium, filled with the collected knowledge of the ages. A disturbing amount of it is poetry. <laughs> Horrendous. What is this? You can read! What a pleasant surprise! Unlock and equip codexes. Unlock codexes will be available for the next adventurer. Right, so when this guy dies, I get everything I unlock. Now, I actually read up that in Necropolis, you go through the game and it's kind of basic, and then when you die, and lose this character that you played on, and you create a new character, that character has all of the things that you unlocked, and then things get harder. And basically, the more you play, and the more you die, the more you unlock, and more areas and things to do are revealed. It's a neat mechanic. So these appear to be, like, passive benefits and different things you can get that cost these points. Now, I don't have any of those points. You can see at the top right, we have diamonds of some sort, which are the things I've been picking up, some sort of currency. And then we have these triangle things which actually you know what they're probably what this favor guy is talking about because it's literally a triangle in a circle he's the triangle you talk to him, you do the things he wants he gives you the rewards maybe that's what unlocks these things oh what's this uh checkpoint maybe save point it didn't seem to restore anything like no stamina or anything oh a character Old Man Necropolis Essentials. I like that name. Okay. So this is a place to, to uh, spend my currency, these diamonds that I'm getting. And then we also have some things that require this uh, favor. Or so we've decided. All right. So we can mostly just get rotten food. But you can get potions of vigor if I had enough money. Right now, I don't really give a shit about buying rotten food. After so many centuries, it is difficult to get attached. Adventurers' deaths can be so horrific, not to mention sudden. He also appears to be a little bit in the floor. I'm not sure if that's intentional. One thing about this game is that there is tons of updates and things that need to be added. Um, and it, they're, they're adding them very regularly and doing a good job of it. Uh, people are liking that. But also a lot of people are saying that it needs a lot of work as well. So an interesting choice in direction. I don't know. I just picked this way. There was another way as well. I guess I could have gone either way. I'm worried about these skeleton bodies near me. See that? What's behind? Door number one! Whoa! I do really like the art style. Ooh! Alright, we got some sort of Viking dude. Alright. So... If I... Ooh, damn it. I got hit for the first time. Oh, we got a dagger! Okay, right. So what we're gonna do, quickly... Uh, what's he doing over there? We're gonna... We're gonna drop this so that we can pick up that dagger. Because it looks better than uh, the shitty weapons that I've been finding. Okay. I'm going to wait for him to attack. Dodge it. Yeah. There we go. So now we have this uh, dagger. Let's check it out. Pariah blade. A crooked blade. It looks best between the third and fourth rib. <laughs> it looks deadly. Again, I was about to say I, I really like the visuals of the art styles and whatnot. All right. Let's see what this power attack does on this one. Oh. Wow. Okay, yeah, they have different power attacks. We have another sword here. It might be better than the last one. Since I'm about to eat food, let's let's do it again. Okay, so we need to eat food badly. Let's do that. Let's see what happens. It gives me food, uh, sorry, hunger, and the stamina goes up, but not too much. All right, so using these power attacks, the specials that have the cool animations, they seem to be very, very powerful. But at the same time... Oh, God. They cost stamina, so I've got to be careful about that. Ooh! This guy doesn't get staggered when I hit him. Okay. No problem. That weapon looks cool. 
Pyramid's short sword. A bronze short sword imbibed with mystical energy. Let's pick it up and use it for a second against these guys. Whoa! Shoots some sort of laser. Okay. We gotta kill it quick. And then get out of line of sight. And then go in again. Got it. Nice strategy there. We also have some sort of shields. Looks like they can hurt each other. So if we can trick them into hurting each other, that could be huge. Some sort of ninja here. He's not getting staggered by attacks. Seems like just attacking blindly is not going to do the job. Nice, I made him kill his friend. Yeah! i got to be careful about my stamina because the stamina disappears so quickly. Right, what have we got? we got a screamer blade, knife, uh, kind of an undead warrior short sword sort of thing. Now, they all have different attacks and types of attacks. I want to play with them a little bit. That's a new shield. The Nagu oil of Tefet are so effective as a death deterrent that the slang for death in Bathis is Nagoel. Okay, so these weird uh, guys that are shooting beams and shit at me. What else we got in here? I need to start, like, dealing with this guy that's uh, sounding the alarm. I'm also wary of uh, the boxes that were there. They look like they might explode. You know what I've not done once? Parried. If this even is a parry. Now that I think about it, it could just be like a, a, a shield slam to stagger an enemy. Nonetheless, still something that could be very useful. Alright, this thing last time sounded an alarm. Oh, and you know what? It's like a crystal lizard. It gave me a lot of... Uh... Oh, shit. It gave me a lot of currency. God, you're strong. So I could go left or right, but I just pushed my way in left, so we're going to go left. I'm going to start trying to block some things, see how much damage it re like reduces. There's a chance that it might redu not reduce any damage, but i got to find out. i got to test. I'm getting a nice amount of money here, but it's all worthless if I just die. Let's just do a little bit of crafting here, since we probably can. Look at this. We can make uh, adventurous chalk. I don't need that. It seems to be like a lever string, and you can follow it. I know I went left, but maybe in the future. Iron ration. It's going to be way better than a standard one. And since we have uh, three normal rations and now an iron ration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat here because we lost a little bit of health and some stamina. It'll be good to get that both back. See, the heal's not that massive. A guy. Oh. What's this? Marvelous. The tunnels of Gru are restored. That's this guy's shield, Gru. Excuse me. Oh, God. He seemed like he might be nice because he wasn't aggressive. The main threat is the laser guys, I think. I got to get rid of them first. They're actually hurting these guys as well, so I can use them to my... Look, they're fighting. So there's like a natural alarm system here that seems to be the like defense of this temple or the necropolis even. And then the guys that are in here could be like dead treasure hunters perhaps. Ones that were previously here but died. Uh, or maybe are just still in here and the alarm system's trying to get rid of them as well. Okay, so the laser's not so bad. They'll fight each other while I deal with these guys who I can make hit each other. Something behind me. It's one of those alarms. Gotta get rid of it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at the size of that sword! Don't mind if I fucking do, mate. Oh, this is working well. This is working very well. Now, these alarm guys seem to be pretty much the most deadly of them all. What is this? A great sword. 21 feet something. Let's get rid of our other sword. This one. For this. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Yeah! Look well cool! Fuck him up! Oh, one hit! Holy shit, this is so much better. Oh, this is so much better. Oh, this is so much better. Oh, I'm all about this life. I'm all about this life. Okay, so we got all of our stamina back, which is great. We now have this big-ass weapon that's a lot slower, but way more damaging. And I'll tell you what, we have nearly 500 uh, currency, whatever it's called, these diamond things. Oh, these are traps. Right, gotta watch out for those. Still not blocked once. What is this? I don't seem to be able to go any further here. It's just the void, so I must have gone the wrong way. What's out there? I can't quite see, but it looks like this goes a lot deeper, which I was expecting. If we can double back, 
you know what, we came this way and we activated that. So what maybe I need to do is go one way, activate this thing, and then go the other way and activate the other whatever I'm activating. Ow, shit. So it seems like I need to gather... I need to do these, like, things that it wants me to do. To, to sort of earn rewards. Uh, I need to become invisible. I need to... Oh, shit. I need to become invisible. I need to slay a certain amount of skeletons. I think it was seven skeletons. And uh, I get points. And as you can see, I've got one of those points now. The, the, the weird currency that we don't know the name of. And there's one of those crystals. Actually, it might be... Yeah, nine skeletons I need to kill. I've killed four. A little bit more to go. Okay, this looks like a good time to use my special attack once they're grouped up. Here we go. I'm gonna get back a bit and charge it. Now! Oh! Holy shit! It's like a forward flip, like a Taurus' sword. Alright, time to use the shield. Let's try out the shield. So it blocked, but it consumed stamina. Why would I not block permanently? This, it staggers me, that's why. So, maybe on quicker weapons using the shield is much better. But, if I can time it so I'm out of range of their attacks, and then they walk into it, then it's fine for me to not block as much. But it's something to consider and be aware of. Alright, we gotta kill two more skeletons. And become invisible. You know what, that potion, unknown potion, I wonder if that's invisibility. You feel blinded. Oh, shit, look at this. So you have to find potions out in the world for these objectives to get stronger and unlock more things. And you're kind of forced to just drink them and find out what happens. That could have been an invis potion. Instead, it just blinded me. Well, it's a good thing that I wasn't near anything. And I also have the money to open this, this door up, so no problem. We're swimming in it, boys. We're swimming in it. I'm also okay on health, so I don't feel the obligation. There's one of these crystals. And an elevator. Okay. Look at this thing. What is this? 500 gems to receive a blessing of the gods. You feel more resilient. Also, your teeth are much whiter. It's like a buff. My health bar went back to full and raised the amount of health I have overall. Some more stairs. And a vendor. So the great sword is a tier one weapon, and the pyramid short sword, this thing, is a tier zero. So I need to keep keep my eyes out for better weapons. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this cool looking blade, as cool as it looks. And the reason that I drop it is because I don't need it, it's not good. This weapon's just straight up better in all aspects, in my opinion. So I'd rather stick with this weapon than uh, swap to the other. So I need to be able to have a free slot to quickly pick up a new weapon if I find one that's a lot better. Also, this area does seem like a second hub, like I've made it to the next stage. And these, this is like the libra library, so we have the merchant who's even better now. We have uh, this library thing that's even better now. It just seems to get better and better as you progress. Alright then, surprise me. Whoa. Ah, look at that. Ah, look, the elevator totally comes up here, doesn't it? So walking up those steps, pretty pointless. It's just the option. Oh, look at this. What is this? You fancy yourself an art connoisseur? With any hope, you'll succeed in that where you failed as an adventurer. Wow, how dare you? I just thought there was a hidden meaning. Whoever that is looks fucking cool, though. Well, I don't really see any other option right now than to activate the elevator, which goes down! It doesn't go up. It goes down. Do not kill everything. I need monsters to stock the menagerie. Wow. Whoa. Uh... The libraries of Raxus were smashed and burned, yet some codexes still remain. A little reading would do you well, mortal. Yeah, these things that permanently power you. Ah, hello! New objective! Shatter the grind. Oh, oh, okay. You look like an adventurer with poor impulse control. Why save for a codex when you can have something useful now? Mmm, right. So it's like, you've got to think temporary. Maybe I'll get a cool weapon now, right? 
But I could save my tokens and get something better for my whole gameplay. Well, it's a video, guys, and you guys want to see the cool stuff immediately, right? And it's only one token. If it was multiple, maybe I wouldn't. But let's see what's in the chest. We have to find out. Apparently, I've got poor impulse control, then. What is that? Marksman armor. Blackguard are known in the east for their metered justice. And hats! Oh, shit, son! Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Oh, I look fucking cool, dude! Oh, yeah, dude! Sweet hat! I can collect hats in this game! I'm sold, dude! I'm fucking sold! I'm really liking this game, dude. What's this? Sec number two. This floor was spotless last weekend until the grind threw a kegger. So we were supposed to kill, oh sorry, shatter 15 grind. And two more skeletons. Look at the change in the area. This is completely different. It's like a giant snake skull here. Oh. Now they attack you. They're changing. I can see you, motherfucker. Alright, maybe I maybe I ain't seeing shit. Maybe I was wrong. I wonder if I can get on top of this. Oh my god, you can! Sweet. It'd be cool if there was like hidden loot up here. Like a little reward for uh, doing that, but it doesn't look like it. What the fuck? Oh shit. Okay, alright, alright. Alright, it's just a bit, just some spiders. It's just some spiders. There's no problem. It just scared me at first. <laughs> they got shields. This looks like a power attack to me. Fuck you! Yes! Uh oh shit. Better kill them while they're down. There we go. New shield, guys. It fits my uh, greatsword. Look at that. Right. Let's keep moving through, though. Ooh. Creepy. God, the art style is so nice. Alright, what you got for me next? Oh! Skeletons! Oh, I needed you guys. This is good, this is good. Let's fuck them up! Okay, they all sort of staggered themselves. Well done, boys. Well done. God damn. Mr. Bones' wild ride never ends. There it is! Oh! So we got another, like, bonus point. I should start saving up then. Looks like we gotta head into the middle here. Oh, there's a lot of traps here. I don't know. They're just greats. No problem. But there is one of these. There we go. Oh, and that gave me some stamina. Great. Whoa, whoa! Whoa! These things swing at you. Oh, God! No, that wasn't just coincidence. I thought it was because I activated that and they did, like, a bow. No, they really swing at you when you go near them. Jeez. Okay, so looks like the way to progress is through this door. We've not been this way and I've been everywhere else. I kind of, like... Really went around that area. Probably for a little bit too long, but it's fine for you guys. Editing and whatnot. Ah. Is this a new hub? Or the hub we were at before? Because it looks very similar, but it seems like I, I can interact with this again. Let's see what happens when I go to this. Might be the same one. 1,500 gems to receive the next blessing. Well, that'll increase the power of my character, which is very important, so I'm saving for that. But this is a new area, which means we have a new library as well. We have the elevator that leads down into the next level, level 3. This was where the vendor was. It doesn't appear to be here now. And we'll have to come back this way as well if we want that boon, the one that's going to increase the power of us, which is obviously huge and definitely something we want. We also have the top floor here where a giant crystal was hanging. There it is, the blue one. And a thing on the wall. It's a new thing on the wall. Maybe this one will actually be relevant and actually give us some advice. The mighty Abraxas, Lord of Mirrors, who sits forever on the Onyx throne, was a great patron of the arts. So, I guess they were the ones commissioning these cool runes, but it looks like a different fighting style. Two daggers, dual wielding, instead of a shield. And being how little I use this shield, that might be very good for me. Next level. Down we go. Look at this. You are certainly exceptional for having made it to this new level. No. Seriously. Alright. Sarcastic. We just got the achievement, Interpret Adventurer. Whoa. New color scheme completely. 
the atmosphere changes. You get to see the whole level you're going to run around in from above. I should pay attention to that more. And another chest that will give me an immediate reward. Try doing this. I want to see what happens to you. Eliminate the infected creatures. Eight of them. Okay, I can do that. Personally, I don't think you will survive the dangers of this level without the gifts in this chest. Just a professional opinion. Right, well, you have to really think long term like we mentioned last time. It will help me immediately. And I want to show you guys in the video. But I'm never going to unlock things permanently. But I tell you what, I will be playing this game more than just this once. But for now, since it's a one-time video kind of thing, at least the idea was, let's get it. A tier zero. A wrist-mounted fire projector for all these tough to remove stains. It gets rid of my shield. Right, well, we'll get rid of my other shield then. Because I like this one more. And it shoots something. Oh. Consumes a lot of stamina. It sets fire to things like that. Oh. What about the power version? So I can fire this a lot, which consumes a lot of stamina. Or I can fire it once. That probably does more damage, I guess. If I run around like this, I feel like guts from Berserk. I got a big ass weapon, and I got a crossbow on my left hand. Sweet. What's this say? Number three. The fish pond may have gotten a little backed up, but it's not like anything was growing down there. Okay. God, that's so nice. Look at this! Rain, water, more ambient... Oh, frogs. More ambient sounds. This is so nice. Oh, whoa! Okay, well, shit. Things fall down on you. I should look up a little bit more than I've been doing. Maybe I can avoid them. And we have the swamp people here. Oh, new enemy type. It's a wizard. Okay, right. I know what to do for you, son. Let's just shoot him from a safe range. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. How do you like fire, son? You probably don't like fire, do you? Well, too bad. You won't taste fire. Oh, yeah. So it's damaging him over time, it seems like. Oh, hello. Stay away from him. We're doing some good damage from a range. He can't touch us. Alright, let's fuck him up properly now. There you go. What'd he drop? Ooh, tier two. An unknown potion. Sometimes people drink stuff that smell like this to feel happy. And then the staff of inscrutable. Let's just say if you had to describe it, be round that can't be orange. I don't know what the hell that means. I'm going to take the staff. And this? Okay, standard thing. Oh, so I can just slap them with the staff. But because it's tier 2, it's better than tier 1. That was all my other weapons, so we'll go with it. We'll try it. Oh, no. Dogs. Fucking dogs, dude. Oh, God, why? All right, let's swap to the faster weapon here. I feel that's a much smarter choice in that situation. Yeah, that's actually the first time I've done that. Oh, that looks special. It's red. I'm going to stay away from it. Set it on fire. There you go. Ah, those are the grind. All right, it seems like the red versions of the grind. They're like a special enemy, which are obviously a lot rarer. Ah, there's a lot of red guys over there. What is that? They're creepy. What we're going to do is we're going to start by just setting them on fire. Grind, so they are just red. Red or grind, right. Doesn't matter whether they're a dog or not. It's just a red enemy. God, this is so useful. So it seems like the game... Concept-wise, visually, is really nice. That's my... I just killed a rabbit without thinking. I set it on fire. Um, I mean, it's not as cute as a normal rabbit, I guess. A little bit fucked up. It's dead now. Not sure if I feel bad. Um, yeah, visually, the game's nice. Mechanically, the game's nice. I, I'm liking it, and there seems to be a lot to it, but there are a lot of bugs that I've been noticing, like the enemies being stuck in walls and stuff. It's only minor things, and I can imagine how fun this game would be with a friend or multiple friends, especially when you can hit each other accidentally. So I can see myself doing that in the future. But uh, I thought I'd just give you a little bit of information there. 
Um, I'll give you a proper, like, opinion, I guess, shortly when we get to the end here, but I want to complete this last floor before we do that. Alright, we killed all the infected creatures. That's another point for us. Not that we've saved up at any point, we've just been taking those chests every time. It looks like we finally made it to the end of this level here, because there is a door that will cost me money to get through, it seems. It's sort of the theme. It'd be nice if I could get back quickly to the previous hubs, but it doesn't seem like that's an option. I'd have to physically run there. But yeah, look, another hub. This is the level 4 hub. See how much this costs, this next power up. 1,500! Well, there you go! Again, defense, meteorology, and weaving. Okay, so defense then. So taking this chest every time I get to the next level has been really effective. You know, it's been giving me good weapon. Like it gave me the armor and it gave this me this awesome ranged weapon. And it was what I would consider extremely powerful um, just going through the area. And the fact that I could attack them at range, it made fighting those magicians way easier. Now, let's pretend I didn't spend those points on getting the armor and the awesome ranged weapon. Then I would be stuck with my normal melee and I would be taking more damage every time I got hit. On top of that, uh, I would have, I would actually have some money though, wouldn't I? Some of this second currency. And I would probably have enough now, probably like three or four points, to get one of these overall permanent buffs, which could also make a big difference and also will affect all of my future characters. So that's something to consider. Like you can think short term, this will help me now, like because I wanted to show you it in a video. Or I could think long term and think I want my characters to be able to do uh, different stuff in the future. A true wonder that some are able to find the time to scroll. So it's like a map of the land of some kind. Not that we can understand any of it. But it's nice to see like the, this artwork and maybe lore of this game in these small hints. Now, maybe the more I play it, the more I will actually understand these hints. Let's go down to number four. We're going to leave it at number four, I believe. But I'm going to open that last chest because I want to see what weapons might be in it. So about the whole Amulet of Suol thing. Doesn't exist. In the Necropolis, it runs on dead adventurers. Next level! God, I just feel like I'm in a horrible place right now. And... Oh, look at the statue over there. I just, I'm being forced to just do horrible things until I die, essentially. At least he's open about it. I've looked around and I think I have something you might be able to do for me. It would be worth the effort, I assure you. Plunder treasure for treasure chests. I've been doing that anyway. Alright, let's have a look what's in number four's chest. New weapon type. Uh, tier two. Sword of Ascapus. Ascapulus. Like steel justice swooping across a vast... Uh, lost my place in the metaphor. Big magic sword. Ascapulus was neat too. Okay. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Go on, let's see what the power attack is. Ah yeah, it's the flip. Because it's a great sword. Hey, it's nice. For now, though, that will do. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know you guys have been asking, you know, I do all these update videos, I do these theory videos, doing a lot of things that don't involve me just sitting and playing the game. And some of you, especially my older viewers, seem to miss that. So I'm glad that I had the opportunity to sit down and play this game. I hope you guys give it a try and see if whether you like the game or not. In my opinion, I would say this game has a lot going for it, and especially if I was able to play with friends, there would be even more reasons to play this game. But from the reviews I've seen, it again needs a lot of work. So my recommendation right now is if you really love Souls-like games and you really like the style of this, ca this game and you think it looks great, go for it. But if you're on the fence, wait, because this game is seeing updates regularly and they're working very hard on it. So hopefully I can do some more stuff on this game in the nearby future, maybe including others as well. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching. I've been Holly, you've been you, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Now get out!